Hello this and welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be ranking every single Rainbow High doll line, not doll individually because that would take way too long. But if you guys wanted to see me rank all of the dolls individually, let me know. But that will be a separate video and the rank will, ranking will go very differently than what today's is because we're ranking by line, meaning every doll matters, the way they are released, the way they come, no restyling. A lot of my dolls are restyled and like look very different from their original um, doll, but we're ranking them on their original looks. So yeah, that's how the ranking is going to go. So let's get to it because um, I don't want this video to be too long. So yeah. Starting on the bottom of my ranking, we have Cheer. Now Cheer, when they first came out, um, I believe we were all gagging, at least the um, day one Rainbow High fans, because a lot of people came to Rainbow High once they got like way better. But if you were into them when they were releasing, um, everyone was like, oh my God, cheer, yay, yay, yay. And then <laughs> now literally no one cares about them. At least like the older collectors, at least the OG collectors, I mean. Um, I believe they're really cute, you know, but they just aged pretty badly compared to as many other dolls we have now. And like just the, I don't know, like the whole, like the new Rainbow High aesthetic is very different from what they used to be. So yeah. They're number 10 on my list, the bottom of the rankings. But, I mean, they are what they are. And I believe they're not the worst dolls to exist. But in the Rainbow High universe, they are. So, <laughs> And then number 9, we have Series 1. By the way, um, Junior High and Shadow High are excluded. Also, any special edition dolls that are separate releases are excluded. As well as any twin sets. Those are not part of any series. So they're not a part of this video. But... We're talking about series one series one is very iconic it's very very much the start of the rainbow high craze the super high quality fashion dolls that are on the market today um i believe without them we would still be well i would still be standing lolmg because before i got any rainbow high dolls i was obsessing over these girls but um rainbow high really you know when they first came out i wasn't actually crazy about them the the, the daughter gave me two of them were um, Crystal Bailey from Series 2. Um, but without her, I probably wouldn't have gotten into Rainbow High. So, yeah. But I believe they aged pretty badly. Sorry, not sorry. They just aren't the top tier girls of Rainbow High anymore. And, you know, that's okay. You know, we grow, we learn. And, yeah, these girls are what they are for what they are. They are very iconic they are the original six well i guess seven if you include bella but yeah they are number nine on my ranking all right number eight spot goes to the winter break girls these are obviously the best renditions of the series one characters um they're just very well designed and they also came out th yeah pretty much a year after rainbow high was um released so they had like a year to like revamp them kind of I do think these are the these are the strongest um, series one characters at the time of this, at the time of this video. I'm not sure if they're getting any new dolls. Maybe they may get a collection collector doll line, or they may revamp the series one girls with new face modes one day. But for now, I believe these are some of the strongest dolls. Mainly these two, Poppy and Violet, ate this doll line up. I feel like without them, they would probably be even lower. But with them. And with just the overall design of Winter Break, they rank at number eight. I said eight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At number eight. On the number seven spot, we have Series 2. Now, I love Series 2. Series 2, like I said, is what got me into um, Rainbow High, especially Crystal, my queen. Um, these dolls are so strong, especially with the release of Bella. I think Bella was just, like, really took... The world by storm when she was released um i do have mines on a jet dawson body so i don't i'm not sure if we ever got one with neck articulation unless you include the pacific coast one but mine is rebodied um and the rest of the line is pretty strong i love karma her outfit pieces are kind of questionable stella i am obsessed with her um accent in the show and like her fur jacket really sold me on her and then river oh not river <laughs> um river and amaya kind of just exists for me you know, he was the first boy doll, which was okay. Then, you know, the face is a bit uncanny. And then Amaya is just Amaya, you know. She's she's there. 
she exists. But yeah, series two ranks at number seven on my list. And I do really, you know, I don't hate the line. I actually really enjoyed them. They just don't um, rank up to the other dolls that have been released. All right, at the number six spot, this is a bit tricky because I really love Pacific Coast and Rockstar. So they're like right at the same six um, ranking mark. But I think I'm gonna have to give it to the Rock Girlies at the number six spot, only because they really, um, the only reason they don't rank higher than them is because there's only three dolls. And three dolls is really hard to like carry a line. It's such a super top tier from head to toe, from the release, from the prize, from just everything. And they don't hit that mark to make it, you know, higher on the ranking. So they are number six, but all of these dolls are amazing. Especially these two. Um, Lyric is absolutely okay. Um, of course, I completely redid mine. Like I'm saying, we're speaking on the basis of the original dolls, not what I've done to mine to make them appeal more to me. And at number five, we have Pacific Coast. And wow, um, I actually am obsessed with the Pacific Coast. I think they age wonderfully. I still see people like talking about them, still buying them up, <laughs> maybe because they're on sale. Um, but they're just a very well-designed line. I love the place that they came with. Um, the only thing I would change about Pacific Coast and is if they came with second outfits, because they only came with bath bathing suits, which I feel like is so one note. You know what I mean? Because like, if you want to like, say if someone's playing with their dolls, they can't be like, oh, let's go to the mall with a freaking two-piece bathing suit on. You know what I mean? So if they came with um, second outfits, I think they would rank higher for me because they're all amazing dolls. Their outfit, the swimsuits they do come with are amazing. They're just not you know, super versatile. Unless you like, of course, like I redressed mine, but we're talking on the basis of what they come with. So yeah, they take the number spot, the number five spot on my ranking list. At the number four spot, we have my beloved um, slumber party line. Of course, all of my dolls are redressed um, because I am obsessed with this line. Like, wow. I don't know, I don't have words. They're just all so, so, so great. Um, the one thing I changed about their release is that how hard she was to get when she when they first were released. She's super easy to get now, but when they first released, they were kind of very tricky to get. I know Robin was really mass produced. I feel like everyone had the, her in their in their targets, but with these two, it was like a if you got them when they first came out, you got them. And if you didn't, then it was kind of tricky to get them a bit. But other than that, these dolls are amazing. Their base dolls are great. They come with great outfits. These are not the original outfits, by the way, but the outfits they do come with are amazing. They come with sleeping bags. They are just top tier girls. And they also created the best Rainbow High Doll to be released to date. So, you know, of course they rank at number four on my ranking list because they are amazing. I love them so, so, so much. And at the number three spot, we have series four. I love, love, love all these dolls to infinity. Um, they are all amazing, extremely diverse. Actually, the most diverse Rainbow High series to date. Um, all their designs are super well. Um, I'm surprised I don't own doubles of Jewel or um, Mina. But all the rest of them, I either have doubles or triples. That's how good this line is. I love, love, love them so much. The reason they rank at number three, though, is because of the defects. Um, cause I was thinking like, should they be number two or one? But I was like, the defects really drive them down because I feel like the other two lines that are higher than them do not have as many defects in my experience. So I feel like that, that should get some points. Um, so yeah, they rank number three on my list, but all these dolls are amazing. If you can find good ones in, in the store, um, none of them are misses. If you ask me, like they all aged well. I think they released were released sometime in May or June-ish of this year, and I still literally stare and gravitate towards these dolls. So, I mean, they do, they do the job, and they are the it girls of Rainbow High, <laughs> if you ask me, and I love them. At the number two spot, we have Rainbow Vision. I am obsessed with them. Um, I think y'all already know my thoughts on them, because I are, they have their own ranking videos, like of all nine of, all nine of these dolls. So, yeah, I love them. So, I'm not going to reminisce too much on them because I feel like I did that enough in their um, 
their own video. So they are at the number two spot. And if you've been following along, you should know who the number one spot goes to and it's series three. Well, three. <laughs> and like, do I need to say why? Um, not only did these dolls not come with any hair gel, the release was very iconic. We got so many different new face modes and literally the shit. Ooh, I would say share. Wait, the clear, <laughs> the clueless reference was too iconic and took the entire doll world by storm. We just got so many well-designed dolls out of this line and none of them are misses. Not a single one, are, not a single one of them are bad. I remember like literally driving around my freaking town looking for them, not being able to find them, then having to order them on Best Buy and being stressed out because I couldn't get them. Like this line is just, it's very nostalgic in a good and bad way. Um, I love them all so, so, so much. Um, and like, I just can't think of a better line than series three. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you love my ranking videos, be sure to let me know and I will try to do more of them. Um, they kind of stress me out because I have to like take all my dolls off the shelves and like create a mess everywhere um <laughs> just so i can like pit them on the table or whatever but anyways i really enjoyed making today's video